Hello everyone, I'm Spectral Star, and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. This time we're going to be taking on Chris's Resident game, Evil. and it should be a lot of fun. It's actually pretty hard, since we're going to be doing it on the hardest difficulty, which is like climbing a mountain. Fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Alright, Chris. Going with classic Chris. Not BSAA Chris. I like, I'm fine with BSAA Chris, but the original Chris was always the best, especially in Code Veronica. Ooh. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. Damn it! Make for that mansion. Enter the survival horror. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker. Jill and myself. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris, take care. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, different from uh, Jill's campaign, Barry is missing uh, instead of, well, Chris. Makes sense. Now, the thing about Chris is that he's only got the survival knife. 
Which, to be honest with you, is pretty damn huge. It's like a damn survival sword, practically. I mean, look at it. It's it's the biggest dadgum combat knife I've ever seen in my life. It's even larger and longer than a Bowie knife, as far as I can tell. Lots of things remain mainly unchanged. The story is different. Uh, you, you meet different people. Barry isn't helping you in this game. Someone new is, and you'll get to meet them very soon. But as far as we're concerned, we need to get through this next door into the next room and continue down this hallway. Hopefully nothing will attack us. Oh look, a zombie. Most iconic scenes in video game history. Well. It is Resident Evil, so let's run away. Because <laughs> if we don't run away, he's going to eat us, and I'm not going to stab him with that knife over and over again until he's dead. It's just a zombie. Generally, I think in the first game was a lot tougher than most of the zombies. I don't know about these games. I'm not for sure about that. I know a lot of them take a varying degree amount of damage depending on Wesker, Jill. Where did they go? Goody, a handgun. Exactly what I wanted for Christmas. Now, let's equip that handgun, because it's going to be very necessary very, very soon. And if you can't tell, guys, this is a walkthrough. If you can't tell, if you can't tell by now, this is a walkthrough. Just like the Jill game was, if you want to go back and watch the Jill game, where I was trying to learn how to use a phase cam. But I still think it's an overall very good LP if you want to check it out. I mean, I am a southern gentleman. I'm southern heritage. I did not enunciate very well back then. And I don't enunciate very well right now. But oh well, let's go kill some zombies. And uh, I'm going to try to take this playthrough seriously. As I always do with Resident Evil games, because... It's a scary story. And it's full of danger. And you are dead. Or are you? He's not dead. So, I like to do this. This is kind of my thing. I don't know anybody else that does it. I'm pretty sure there's lots of people that do it. Take out the knife and stab the zombie while they're down. Just to save on more bullets. Is he dead? Like I said, they take a varying degree of damage uh, depending on I don't know what. I guess we're the... It's just, it's weird like that. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. What, pray tell, is he holding? It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. And don't worry, I will, I will speed read. Uh, on occasion, just to get past that. But when it's story stuff, uh, I'm going to try to just speak as clearly as I can so everybody knows the story. It's a walkthrough, but it's also a playthrough, because I love this game. Oh, we got a dead person here. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Now, sometimes there's going to be breaks in the sentences, uh, the, the, the words that I speak uh, on the screen because they break up in weird places. Uh, the sentence breaks loose and uh, or breaks apart halfway in between them, and it sounds very awkward. Anyways, we got us a green herb. We're going to take both of these green herbs. Green herbs are the healing medicine in this game. You can take green herbs and you can combine them like so to make a mixed herb which is a lot stronger than your average herb i used to say herb like i I'd, I'd say the h not not in the playthrough but when i was a kid it'd be like herb i need some herb like okay all the other stoners just looking at me now <laughs> joking. Right, let's walk slowly through this archway Turn around if you didn't see him through the mirror you did that time now he's facing us, and he's alive, pretty sure, 
Or maybe not. He's dead! Wow, two bullets! Thank you, game! It's not... It's not a headshot. I heard one moaning. Let's just take it slow. Yes, you can hear the zombies moaning. Uh, examine items, we all know how to do that. If you've watched the Jill playthrough, let's go ahead and examine. There's a zombie right in front of me, by the way. I'm just... I know he's there. The arrowhead is made from Pyridot, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. But yeah, you can take the arrowhead off that arrow. It's just a... Uh, let's try to lure this guy. And not die. We might get bit here. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> well, since he only took two bullets... He's now dead. Well, that guy died fast too. This is awesome. I'm getting so lucky. This is hard mode, people. I got the Let's Player's luck. This is not how it goes in my practice runs. I'm like down to like five bullets or something. Okay, over here we get a dagger. Now, you can use daggers with left shoulder button, but you got to be getting attacked by a zombie. That's the best way to use it. It's a defensive item. So when you're attacked by a zombie, when they lunge at you and try to grab you, press and uh, release LB. You can mash it if you want to. The game does not, it's not time sensitive, so you can just mash it. Just bam, 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 until he stabs him in the, you know, until he stabs a zombie in the head, which is generally what it looks like. If you've watched the Jill playthrough, it happens quite a lot for me. Don't mind that blue light. There was no blue light. Okay, so now we gotta push this statue over here. And that below there is where we came in at. The first door we entered, minus the mansion door. And uh, just ignore the zombies that I don't kill. Um, and some of the zombies you can juke around if you want to. Alright, so let's head downstairs. We're going to need to go into the uh, the graveyard slash courtyard slash zombie infested park. Whatever you want to call it. Let me go down into here. As if you couldn't tell, I love these games. I really do. Now, we don't need to kill this guy. Let's wait for him to get on the stairs here. Alright, he's on the stairs. That means he can't lunge or bite at us. He can puke on us, I think. I remember in Resident Evil 2 uh, that zombies could always puke on you. Now, let's go ahead and examine what we got here. A tomb engraved with the picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. So that means grab your arrowhead and use it. Voila. It goes right in. I was going to make a prom night joke, but I don't think I should for the kitties. Okay, so let's go down in this creepy ass area. And you can see that these are the mask uh, indentations. Uh, there's one with no eyes, no mouth, and there's one, with, there's one with no eyes, there's one with no mouth, there's one with no nose, and there's one with no mouth. Or right, wait, 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 what's this one? I didn't set mouth there. Okay, yeah, no mouth. Uh, and there's one with no eyes, no nose, and no mouth. So one combined, okay? So we need to find these pieces, or these whatever they are. Masks, I'll just tell you, they're masks. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the Book of Curses? Yes, I will. Okay, so let's examine the Book of Curses. Ordinary book. It's titled the Book of Curses. Look on the back and you've got a key. It's a key embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? Yes, I will. You got the mansion key. Now let's read the Book of Curses. Book of Curses, The Four Masks, a mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Now, that sounds like a bad bum deal, doesn't it? Well, trust me, it is! But you're gonna have to wait for that, because it's gonna take a while to get these masks. But I promise, I will be destroyed. When it happens. Well, maybe not. Now, there's an... There's 
an off-screen zombie. Just fail, I don't see where he is. <laughs> see, that's the thing about these games. You never know if they're going to lunge at your feet, because when they fall down, they can lunge at your feet. I've, I got very lucky, and he died in a diagonal type fashion. If he was more straight in line with the path that I was walking on, he would have ate my ass. You take a lot of damage in hard mode, and Chris is no exception. And he's only got six slots of inventory as opposed to Jill, who has eight, I believe, eight slots. So that's why I started out with Jill. And uh, it was a while back when I played that playthrough, but like I said, I'm going to do Chris's, and here I am with the Chris playthrough. I told y'all, I ain't no liar. Now we're going to go ahead and get this map too, because I have to have a map. I'm sorry. I have to have a map. If I don't have a map, I am completely lost. Okay, so let's reach into this pot. Take it. Yes. There we go. We got a map. Got the map of the mansion. One F. Nicely done. Woman with one boob and her butt exposed here. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I was going to examine it, but it's just a woman drawing water. That's the. That's what it says on the plaque in front. A very hot woman drawing water. Very hot. I'd like to meet the sculptor. Shake his hand. Like, that's a beautiful statue you got there. Alright. Now, we're gonna go get us another defensive item. But I'm setting this room up in this particular fashion. And you'll see why. Will you take the dagger? Yes. I'm gonna try not to say that every time I pick something up this time. Sorry about that. Okay. So, as a kid, one could say they wet themselves at this part and not feel ashamed, right? Am I right? We all wet ourselves here, right? I'm not crazy. I'm not a baby. It scared me. Anyways, this guy, he can't get through these Chester drawers here. I don't know if they're made of Chester. Whatever the hell Chester drawers are made out of. I'd assume wood. Let's get the hell out of here. Use the mansion key. Oh, but yeah, I like to set that room up like that. It's been like an old school idea for a long time. It's in many a walkthroughs on Game Facts. Just look it up. It's very helpful. And here we get another dagger, which is very nice. To replace the dagger we just lost, we still have two daggers. Holy shit! Okay, I'm just joking. I, I've been through this game way too many times. I, I, I still get the creeps playing this game, though. Don't get me wrong. The glass shattering. It's old school. Old school and it's very terrifying. Over here we get some more pistol ammo. Which is going to be necessary. It's going to be very necessary. So we need as many bullets as we can get. And uh. We will probably have some. Problems with ammunition. Just going to say that ahead of time. We didn't, we did not, we didn't really with Jill's playthrough. Because Jill had uh, a lot of ammo. It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug. Yes, indubitably. I love that word. And Chris, you look stupid in the water. <laughs> oh, God. Another moment where we could relieve ourselves by going to the pants, or going to the bathroom, in our pants. I just ruined every joke I'm doing. This guy's kind of tough. Oh god, okay. Had to use a defensive item. Is he dead? Okay, so... You know, we got more bullets and less defensive items, but that's okay. I've never had to use a defensive item in there, in this area. It doesn't look like this has been serviced in a while. Well, that's great to know, Chris. I'm glad that you know about servicing bathrooms. Which we all should if we have a toilet. Clean your toilet, kids. Clean your toilet. Just clean it. 
Okay, now we gotta move to the right screen. And head out here. You might be able to unlock it using an old key. Now see, Chris doesn't have lock picks like Jill did. Jill had it easy. Lock picks. He has to get old keys to get to places. With nor with uh, average locks. Use the old key. Yes. Use the old key. So once you use an old key, it is discarded. No longer shall you be able to use it. Will you be able to use it? Now don't worry about these dogs right now. They're not going to attack just yet. Now, if you're hurt or in serious need of healing, you can use these herbs if you want to. But what I'm going to do, since I haven't taken a bit of damage, I'm going to combine it with this one. Alright. And you want to grab this uh, chemical to use on plants, which is, I think, a pesticide or a, a plant killer. Let's see. Chemical agent to destroy plant growth. We're going to need that later. So, we don't need it right now, but we need to get it now, so we can use it later. Now, you're not going to want to come back out here ever again, because the dogs will have jumped the fence, and they will eat your ass alive. Unless you're good at juking and shooting. You got a bigger gun? I'm not going to ever come back there, though. As far as I know. If I do, it will be off screen. And it's only necessary if I need a healing item, which there's a full heal out there. Green and red herb make a full heal herb. Herb! Now you want to go through this door. It's creepy and as old as it is with its chipped wood. It's ugly features. You want to walk up. Only a little bit so far and then run back. Now you got him. Oh, we popped his head. That's good. That's good. Now, when you pop a zombie's head, I'll, I'll explain this in a little bit here. Come on. And he's down. Let's get the knife out. I wasn't trying to knock him down. But it did work out that way. Oh god, I'm an idiot. And he can't bite you going down the stairs, so. And he's dead. But is he dead? He is dead. That's good. Okay. So let me walk up into here. Now I'm going to explain a game mechanic to you right now, so I don't forget about it in the next game. But there are these, uh, let me go ahead and store everything. You want to put everything in the box for the next run. The next run you're going to be completely naked. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, we never even examined that key. Should be the sword key. Yes. The sword key. That's good. Okay, so now we can open any lock with a sword indentation on it. That's nice, right? Let's go ahead and put that away. And let's put the herbicide. The herbicide, not the herbicide. With the herbicide. Okay, so right here at our feet, we've got a fuel canteen, a fuel flask, whatever you want to call it. Now, the fuel flask, you can carry with you to light, a fuel to light a few times using a lighter. What they mean by that is now you have the ability to burn zombie corpses. And I got an old key too, so. And there's also a note on the floor. I'm just going to put this stuff away. You don't want any of this stuff taking up your inventory. Now let's read the note. Should be about burning zombies. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. If you guys watched my Jill playthrough, you know that I was, uh, that I, uh, the video cut out on this. But now that I'm recording on the PC at 60 frames per second, uh, hopefully that will not happen because I was using an external capture card. This is shadow play, baby. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently there are two known methods to cease their resurrection. Incineration and destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Sure. 
Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. So there you have it. All right, on the next playthrough, we're gonna burn some of these zombie corpses probably, uh, not for sure, um, but it should be a fun time nonetheless. I'm Spectral Star. There is gonna be some annotations after the video that'll take you to other playlists and other stuff, other games that I play, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil HD Remaster. See ya. Look at this. Oh my God, it looks so good. I can't, I cannot tell you guys how insanely good this looks compared to the first game. It's, it's like Bioshock almost.